Bryson. I'm um, in, based in the School of Computing and Communications at Lancaster University in the UK. And my main research area is, is natural language processing and corpus linguistics, but also I work uh, with a lot of people in digital humanities, mostly in the area of spatial humanities. So that links a lot of these different aspects together in terms of picking out place names and working out uh, what people talk about in relation to those in corpora. So I chose to become a Claren ambassador, well, I guess because Francesca and Francisca asked, first of all, um, but originally I was evolved in the original Claren uh, preparatory phase in the early, two, well, mid to late 2000s. And so I thought I really enjoyed the kind of user interaction that we were doing in that part of the project. And uh, the uh, ambassador role seemed to be a lot of engagement with users. Uh, and I really kind of enjoy collecting requirements from software and corpora and how they might be used. Um, so I thought it would be a good role to take. But also, I think with being from the UK, um, you know, with the the Brexit situation, I think it's really important for us to stay involved in European uh, activities, particularly Claren. As I say, I was in Claren in the mid to late 2000s, uh, in the early phases, talking to users. Um, but also recently, with um, forming the networks across uh, computer science, natural language processing, corpus linguistics, I think it's really important to get the digital humanities community involved uh, as well. You know, very, very similar um, pipelines of activities and uh, NLP tools that we would all use, uh, but there's kind of a lack of awareness between these multiple areas. So I think that's where I kind of sit there in terms of um, you know making those connections. I think um, probably that's how it's, it, it's impacting my work in terms of making those connections uh, for people, really. In terms of uh, recent dissemination activities, I've done a few things. Um, one was a, a Newton Links workshop in Brazil. Unfortunately, I didn't get to actually travel to Brazil in the last two years, uh, sadly. Um, but other things in terms of uh, LREC as well. I was at LREC in Marseille in uh, June, I think it was, and also the Parliament work. Um, so I'm uh, part of the UK um, team that worked on that, collecting the UK hands our data and contributing that to uh, the Parliament corpus. So in terms of the next 12 months, what I'm planning to do in my um, second year as ambassador is to focus on a number of areas that I'm working on uh, with new projects at Lancaster and elsewhere. So that's in the area of health and medicine. So we're involved in two projects, one in the UK, uh, which is related to peer online forums for mental health support. So we've got a, new, a number of stakeholders that we're working with. Uh, people are turning to online support forums because there isn't enough timely support for um, uh, the mental health difficulties. So we're looking at how people use those forums, what topics do they talk about, how people interact uh, in those. and. Um, so we've got a number of forum providers uh, involved, as well as the National Health Service, one of the um, uh, regional uh, areas uh, in Berkshire is looking at that with us as well. Uh, the other uh, project in that area of health and medicine is to do with uh, cancer care uh, and how people talk about in, the, uh, in their discussions with professionals or other carers or um, uh, or, the, or the sufferers, uh, how they talk about uh, their own battle against cancer or their cancer journey or their treatment journey. And so we want to look at how uh, we can use natural language processing techniques to do analysis of that. Other things is related to uh, digital humanities. So we have a new centre launching in Lancaster in October uh, this month. And uh, so we're thinking of maybe some support activities linking Claren activities uh, to uh, the TH community uh, in the UK and, and beyond. Um, but uh, maybe some other tutorials and so on um, at the Corpus Linguistics Conference uh, next summer, which will be in July in Lancaster, actually.